Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, CMG. So PCLN bulls are seeing that correlation with the market strength keep up with higher lows and higher highs. We are now looking to fill this gap by breaking 1920. There is a lack of resistance. So we'll be looking at $10 increments, 1930, 1940 as resistance levels, keeping an eye on the daily higher low pattern that has been intact the last six days, as well as the upper Bollinger Band. So we'll be watching to see if this can, if this strength can continue, but keeping in mind that after six green days in a row with this kind of move, we are anticipating normal, healthy, short-term consolidation to establish a higher low on the daily time frame sometime soon. The weekly time frame has this clear bull break now. We had our, our low high of the bounce and we did form a higher low and a higher high now we were watching for the potential bear flag but when the market is insanely strong seeing you know five all-time high days in a row you don't want to be looking bearish on an individual name you want to be going with the market direction especially at all-time highs so the bull is able to negate that potential setup for the bear pattern and enter an area with a lack of resistance due to the weakness that we saw on the way down nvda is at these key resistance here 181.98 182 and 181.84. It's essentially a little bit of an ascending triangle pattern with a clear horizontal base of resistance. We're watching to see if the bulls can keep up these higher lows with support right now at 177 and 179 as those two higher lows to be watching. We did close up near the high of the day at the end of the week, and we are st still certainly strong on the weekly time frame, holding exponential supports and looking up towards the recent high of 191.20. That all-time high is certainly within striking distance where we currently stand. Tesla is in the middle of a channel between 50-day support and middle Bollinger Band resistance, with that resistance rejecting the price three days in a row now. And if we get over this level, there's not a ton of resistance in the short term. I'm looking at 369.90, 376.83, and we'll see if the bulls can maintain the bounce momentum that we have here, keeping in mind that the bulls were a bit of a laggard with the market strength where we were struggling to see that correlation. I'm watching the correlation of Tesla and the market very close to see if market consolidation means Tesla is likely to see some weakness as well. Weekly time frame for Tesla quickly regaining the middle Bollinger Band, which is a great sign for the bulls. The last thing they wanted to see was a back test and a rejection from that level after holding it so many times and then finally losing it. So again, bulls holding on to that level and we now have a bit of a double bottom at 331.85 and 331.28, a couple key support levels. Netflix on the daily is following through with the cup and handle breakout pattern. Huge follow through and extremely strong. The all-time high is up at 198.92, followed by 200 psychological, a clear higher, low, higher high pattern on the daily. We're a bit extended, but the, blue, the, the bulls are in blue sky breakout with the market as well. That's an ideal scenario for the bulls. So when we do begin to consolidate and lose the daily upper Bollinger Band for support, we will look for a higher low to form to keep the bulls in full control after that beautiful cup and handle pattern with that breakout that did end up following through nicely thanks to a combination of an upgrade and then bullish news and seeing that follow through. CMG on the daily time frame. Higher low looks to be established. We're getting pretty tight now. I'm watching support at 298.20 and a higher low at 303.20. The bulls need to see a break of 312.04 to have this 50-day moving average resistance in sight, which we have rejected from on the high of this bounce attempt. Get over that 50-day and we look to 326.45. So I'm still very interested in the bullish setup here for CMG. Still needs improving after rejecting from exponential weekly resistances. We are trying to see these lower wicks hold from the upper 290s as support. But we do need follow through for the bulls to get into the 3 teens and 320s to get over these exponential resistances and see this weekly chart get a, a more significant oversold bounce playing out. So that's what we're looking at heading into next week. A lot of strength out there, including the overall market. We're keeping an eye out for normal healthy consolidation. Swing traders have nothing to worry about as bulls at this point. It's just the day traders that are looking to make sure they're not getting stuck trying to continue playing bullish when we are getting some initial signs of weakness. But as of right now, day traders bullish every day has been the direction to be looking as well. As long as the hourly 20 period support holds on the market overall, and as long as the daily higher low patterns continue, the bulls remain in full control. Hope you had a good weekend and we'll see you tomorrow.